Hello and welcome back to Investing for Generations, your channel for high-quality stock research for long-term value investors. Just a minute ago, Chevron reported their Q3 earnings, and it's the last company out of my portfolio for this week, which published the Q3 earnings. And so this really busy week comes to an end. And I want to go through these numbers with you and then tell you what I think and what I will do with my position of Chevron in my portfolio. So Chevron reported third quarter September 2020 earnings of 11 cents per share. The consensus estimate was a loss of 29 cents per share on revenue of 25.5 billion. The earnings whisper number was for a loss of 35 cents per share. And so we have a big surprise here, a 131% EPS surprise um, and this is very, very positive because the times, of course, for the oil companies are very, very, very difficult. And so the market before ours today reacts slightly positive. Uh, we will see how this will continue today. Um, I think it also depends on the numbers which Exxon will report later today. Um, we will see even how this competitor of Chevron did with their earnings in the Q3. But overall, of course, it's a very, very difficult time for the oil companies uh, with a historical low oil price under $40. It's hard to make profit for them because um, the break even for the North American oil companies is over $40. And so um, it's really, really tough to make money for them. And this frame here, I just uh, took from a video from the very great Sven Karlin. I put a link to his channel here down in the subscription. Check this out. He is really, really um, a great analyzer. And he made a, a great video of the investment in oil overall. Check this out. Really, you can learn a lot. And um, for me, this guy is maybe the best uh, channel on YouTube when it comes to investing. And Chevron also uh, on October 28 declared the quarterly dividend and they declared a quarterly dividend of $1.29 per share. And this is the same amount than in the last three quarters. So the dividend at least is stable. And this is in these difficult times for the oil companies, a positive sign. They still able to pay this dividend out of the uh, cash flow, a big advantage to Exxon, for example, and therefore Chevron seems to me the best play. And therefore I bought my shares of Chevron in the depth of margin April for an average $61. And I'm up right now around 16%. This was way more some weeks ago. Um, but now also the oil price and also Chevron came back. And um, now I'm up 16%. And I will stick with this company because the oil price is cyclic and it was always cyclic. And so it's very, very likely that when the pandemic situation is over or more under control and the whole economy come back to normal, then of course also the demand for oil uh, will rise and with it the oil price. And then I think it's very likely the oil price come back to prices over 50 or $60. Um, and then also the stock price of Chevron and the profits of Chevron will rise. And so I think this is low risk because the downside seems limited, um, but with a lot upside. And so I will stick with my Chevron stocks. And of course, I know a lot of people think the oil um, age is over or will be over very soon. And uh, I agree at some point uh, oil will be not important or not that important anymore, but I can't see this for the next two or three decades. And so I think we will see at least one or two more um, cycles of oil and of the oil price. And that is the whole idea of this investment. 
And another big point, of course, with Chevron, the dividend seems pretty safe, at least for the moment. So that's it for today. Thanks for watching. If you found any value in this video, subscribe to my channel and join me on my road to financial freedom. And if you really like the video, give me a big thumbs up and tell all your friends that here is a community rising of long-term value investors. We reached the 500 subscriber mark yesterday. So join this group and you will get high quality stock research uh, every week. See you soon with another analysis of another stock. So long, take care, bye bye.